Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And as I am about to start an Italian campaign, uh, this is not going to be it, by the way. This is going to be a ship design video, because we're going to make some shared designs for the enemy AI to use, hopefully, against us. Uh, I'm not going to design all the ships for all the nations, because I'm going to be playing with the Dreadnought Improvement Project. And... Um, the people over at Brother Monroe's Discord channel, uh, Brother Monroe being the one behind the Dreadnought Improvement Project, they have made a very extensive uh, ship design pack that I'm just going to download and put into my ship design folder. And that will be that. So uh, not all of, actually very few of the shared designs we're going to see will be mine. They're going to be made by other people. But, patch 1.5 came with a bunch of new hulls. And I want to design a ship on each of the new hulls. So, let's see. I'm uh, reading the uh, major update blog post by the developers. 31 new hulls. So, USA has Modern Light Cruiser 2. Available from 1925. Modern Light Cruiser 3. Available from 1939, Modern Heavy Cruiser 2, available from 1935. Ulster Hungary has Advanced Compact Cruiser, available from 1925. Advanced Armored Cruiser, available from 1926. Large Armored Cruiser, from 1929. Advanced Small Battleship, from 1929. And Modernized Dreadnought 1, from 1927. Italy has Advanced Fast Cruiser, available from 1935, Large Fast Cruiser, available from 1939, Small Modernized Dreadnought, available from 1929, Hybrid Destroyer 2, 1935. Uh, Spain has Advanced Compact Cruiser, 1925, Advanced Small Cruiser, 1925, Spain and China, has a um, large cruiser 1, 1929. They also have uh, Spain and China. Advanced small battleship from 1929. And Spain and China also has a hybrid destroyer available from 1935. China has large torpedo warship available from 1936. Uh, Japan has experimental torpedo cruiser 2, 1930. Modern Light Cruiser 3, 1935, Modern Heavy Cruiser 5, 1939, Modernized Battle Cruiser, 1929, Modernized Dreadnought 4, 1927, Modern Battle Cruiser 2, 1935. France has Modern Light Cruiser 2, 1935, Modern Heavy Cruiser 3, 1937, Advanced Modernized Battleship, 1929, Flotilla Leader, a large destroyer available from 1935. Russia has modernized Dreadnought 1, available from 1919. Flotilla Leader, a large DD, available from 1935. Britain has G3 Battlecruiser, available from um, 1923. And the previous N3 G3 Battleship has been renamed N3 Battleship. And has some new towers. So we're going to be building one of those also. But let's start at the top of the list, and that is the USA Modern Light Cruiser 2, 1925. So, we're gonna go to USA, jump all the way to 1925, and the hull was called Light Cruiser 2, Modern Light Cruiser 2. And this is it. Here it is. Um, what was the uh, recreation of the Brooklyn class? I'm adding the SD suffix, so you can see it's uh, it's my ship. Let's go 32 knots. Start the crew at trained. 
That's a pretty good... That's a lot of tower spotting for a 1925 light cruiser. So finally, you can make an actual uh, good, like, scouting type cruiser early on. That's the simplest tower. 7,000 tower spotting. That's not too bad. Let's go with complex modern tower 1. It's kind of in the middle. So for secondary tower... That's the biggest one you can fit. That is a chonker of a tower. Let's go with uh, something more mundane. Turbo dual funnel. That's a huge funnel. Let's go with it. Uh, some kind of turbo dual funnel. This one, perhaps. And link them up like that. Oh, there's a bit here. Does that... No. I thought that might be able to fit a funnel on here where the life rafts are. But no, that is not possible. So, let's go like that. As for barbettes... Put that one there. I'm gonna go with six inch guns. Okay, I think we can uh, go with the smaller barbette. Or is that too tiny? No, that works. That looks more or less correct. 10,000 tons, so. Oh. Doesn't really uh, like to go that small. No, we can make this work. This is not going to be a uh, perfect copy of the Brooklyn class. This is a nice hull to build on. I wish we had this when I was playing the American campaign. Something like that. That looks uh, Brooklyn-esque. Secondary guns. There's a lot of room for uh, secondaries up here. You can even put the 5-inch guns here. I think that might be a little bit too much. So, yeah, we're gonna go with some uh, secondaries. The quad buffers are not available in this mod. I'm just gonna plop some 5 inch guns down here. I could have fit the. Um, the 5 inch guns up here also, but it just uh, looked like it was a bit too much. But I can fit them here. Looks about right. How about the 2 inch guns? Uh, they can fit here. Okay, let's build the rest of the ship. I'm gonna go with oil too. Air turbines too. Actually, let's just go one step down from uh, from the best. Make it a little bit easier for the AI to actually build this. Prep three being the best available, really. In uh, I guess Munro uh, changed that from vanilla. Citadel 5, all or nothing, being a light cruiser. That's not very good range for a light cruiser. Let's 
to go up to 11,000. Improving the range a little bit more. If I reduce the beam a bit, minus 2.5, things still fit. That's good. Yeah. Let's go standard ratio. And there are two routes to go with these um, ships with relatively small guns. You can go incendiary uh, HE and semi AP so that it's going to use incendiary to put larger ships that it can't pen, put them to, bl uh, to fire. And use semi AP to sink DDs and stuff. Or you can go cap ballistic. So the cap ballistic HE actually penetrates an, an armored DD, causing flooding and doing lots of damage. Well, this has at least some chance versus uh, lighter ships. Armor quality is 150%. Let's see, what kind of pen are we looking at? Four inches. It's not a lot of pen. What kind of armor can you put on this? 6.4 inches main belt. Six inches should be enough. And I want two, 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 one, one, six, two. That's a decently armored light cruiser. It's not a complete tinfoil uh, boat. Okay, we can actually do decent armor on the 5-inch guns now. Uh, halfway decent. 44 caliber length. Mark 4 guns. Let's make them 45s. Doesn't really make a huge difference, but it's a nicer number. There we go. There's some token armor. What kind of flash fire chance are we looking at? 3.5. Let's go TNT 2. Drop it down to 1.6. That's pretty good. Okay, we are overweight. Uh, RDF. Sonar. Not gonna worry about subs in Dreadnought Improvement Project. That's a nice thing to not have to worry about. But yeah, we are overweight. A little bit fat. So we're gonna knock down some of the uh, secondaries. Oh, that made the ship uh, grow. Where's the uh, where's the growth limit? past it. How about that? Yeah, it's just at the limit. Fine, let's make it a... Uh, 12,000 ton light cruiser.
And that way we can... Uh, this is gonna make it overweight again. Because I'm lengthening the citadel. Starboard weight offset because I can't. There we go. No, it's not overweight. And it is balanced. And that gave my rear firing guns a little bit better arcs of fire. I think that's kind of decent. We can drop the main belt down to 5 inches to find weight to put those 5-inch uh, guns back on. Or at least uh, some of them. Like that. I can put those there, give them a little bit better arcs. That's okay, that's fine. That is our first, first design on the new hull. I think it looks, uh, looks quite good. I would have liked to have this in my USA campaign. I would have liked that very much. Now, next on the list, Modern Light Cruiser 3, also American, 1939. So let's skip ahead. 1939. Modern Light Cruiser 3. What do they say about that? Offering cruiser is quite similar to the Cleveland class. Alright. And this is gonna be a little bit bigger. Let's go 14,000 tons. And we have another good selection of good towers to choose from. And we got these funnels here. I want this a little bit faster. 50. Oil 2. Let's go diesel 1. We're gonna go with two funnels. As the Cleveland's had. That should fit a uh, six inch turret. Now mark five, very good. Do I have a uh, tall er, barbette? How tall are you? It says it's tall. It doesn't look that much taller. I'm gonna go with that one there. Uh, it looks like it's super firing, but it isn't. And let's see. Can we fit one of these guys here? Yeah, we can. Move things a little bit closer together. Have a bit of an aft weight offset. Let's uh, quickly adjust that. Like 
so. Well, this is not going to be a perfect copy of a Cleveland or anything like that. But I think it kind of gets the point across. You did not like that. There we go. Again, not quite super firing over the, uh, the rear turret there. Let's see, can we... Uh, yeah, we do. We do have a bolt first. Add some of those. How about one of the no? I want to put a barbette here for another uh, set of five-inch guns. I guess I just have to do it like that. I know they also fit on these platforms here, but to me it just kind of looked silly to have them there. How about some uh, some of those double three inch guns? Like so. Lots of range. Let's see. Uh, modern 2? It's quite an expensive ship. It doesn't make a huge difference now, but we haven't uh, played with the armor values yet. Let's give it the same ammo loadout as we did on the Brooklyn. Alright, three... Still want to go with TNT too, because of that flash fire chance. We go up the barbette. It's basically uh, explosion proof now. And radar generation two. Armor. Six inches. What's the most you can put on this? Six point one. Six will have to do. It's going to be more or less the same armor layout as on the Brooklyn. Which is already putting us over uh, over the weight limit. There we go. We can put seven on the, uh, on the main gun turrets. It's most they can have on the barbette. 3.7 and these guns are 45s how about we uh, make it a little bit ahistorical and make them 50s give them a little bit more range I know uh, Munro said something about he'd rebalanced the barrel length effects in this mod. Because apparently uh, just going long barrels was too much of a uh, no-brainer. Not sure if I agree about that, because going very long barrels on your guns basically ruined your deck penetration. Now these guns have no deck penetration whatsoever. They have a range of 20.4 and a reload time of 13.8. If I drop the barrel length back down to zero extra, 
19.2 range, still no deck penetration, reload time 10.8 seconds. Accuracy at 10,000 meters is 6.6 .6 with AP. With the longer barrels, it was also 6.6. .6. Yeah, I want to go with the 50s. I think that's nice. Now, let's go about trying to save some weight. This ship is uh, a little bit overweight. First of all, these have to be 1.6 inch. That should be 40 millimeter. Fourteen thousand tons is heavy for a uh, light cruiser, but this is a pretty big light cruiser. How about I go down to barbet three? One point four flash fire chance. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not sure if I want to compromise too much on the armor. I mean, it's a 1939 ship. It's going to be facing uh, ships with a lot of deck, uh, a lot of penetration, both deck and uh, belt penetrations. And go down to 34 knots. Huge weight saving. Let's just uh, go 34. And that's it. That's the Cleveland SD. Now that's a good-looking light cruiser. If I said I wanted the uh, the previous Brooklyn class in my USA campaign, this is definitely something I would have wanted. What's the biggest main guns you can fit? Uh, that would be seven inch. Yeah, would be nice. But do take into consideration the pen numbers here are versus quali armor quality plus 150 percent. Uh, let's see, modern heavy cruiser two occupies the previous place of modern cruiser, modern heavy cruiser two, and the previous hull is renamed modern heavy cruiser three. The new hull offers cruisers quite similar to the Wichita class. It can be found in the heavy cruiser hulls from 1935. Displacement between 11,500 and 15,900 tons. 1935. Let's see, modern heavy cruiser 2. That's what they said, right? Modern heavy cruiser 2, 1935. Yep. That should be it. 15,500 was the maximum. 15,900, excuse me. 32 knots. Uh, max optimal speed is 31 knots, so it's still not a very fast hull. the second best tower. Let's go to the second best tower here also. We're gonna build it kind of to the same lines as the previous ship. Now there are new gun models in um, this version of the game. Do we want to build it with 10 inch guns? instead of the historical 8. I think we do. Because 8 is just kind of on the light side in this game. It's not too big of, an, uh, of a barbette, is it? What about this one? Yep, 
yeah, that looks uh, looks better. Let's move the A turret up there. Give us a little bit more room to build on. Can we fit this right up next to that one? Not quite. I wanted to just kind of close the gap there, but that was not possible. But we're gonna put a five inch. No. because the barbette has an antenna. Womp womp. Mm. Does that mean we have to go with this? Or does this actually fit? That would be nice if it... Nope. Not fit. If I then go with that one. Yeah, you do fit. Stop complaining. Now then. Five inch. There we go. Can we move you closer? To the B turret? A little bit, not much. And can we do the same on the aft here? Yeah, I think we can. Might have to adjust things. have to adjust things. Oh, we are almost overweight already. But if I'm not mistaking, these uh, 10 inch guns have impossible amounts of armor. Also, we haven't chosen the engines. So there's no weight savings there yet. Nor with the armor type. Still want to put this here to just kind of fill in the middle of the ship. are not yellow. Five inch gun. Yep, you fits. Like so. these here and again there's no chance of putting uh, no no small barbettes on the sides here they just will not let me do that guess we can mount one here it's kind of clipping into the ship. It looks goofy. Not gonna do that. Let's do the bow first. There we go. Now, oil two. Gear turbines too. Huge weight savings. Can drop the uh, drop the range down also. Dallas, 
this is not based on a uh, any historical ship, so we're just gonna go with that name because it's what the uh, what the game suggested for us. Modern one. Well, yeah, there's no weight savings from armor in um, Dreadnought Improvement Project. Boom, overweight. But I think we might be able to uh, salvage some weight by adjusting the turret armor. Flashfire chance 2.1. That is decent. What kind of rate of fire do we get now? 19.6 on a 10 inch gun. If I drop down to auto one, I saved almost a hundred tons. So let's go with that. And heavy cruisers do not get hydro. Let's see. Yeah, turret armor. Fourteen inches. A lot of turret armor. So we were able to save some of that weight by taking it off. Deck penetration with a 10 inch gun. It's not that much. Actually. really is not that much. Yeah, we are very heavy. 10 inch guns are heavy. Imagine that. I still want to keep them though. Uh, but we might reduce their numbers. Let's go with uh, super firing 5 inch guns on the back here. And then a 10 inch turret back there. We're no longer overweight. And I think that's quite aesthetically pleasing. And we have all our systems, all we need now is a little bit more armor, because this thing ain't got none of it. What's the maximum armor you can put on a heavy cruiser in this? I'm not gonna go 16 inches, I just wanna check. 11.2. That's a lot of armor for a heavy cruiser. 8 on the belt. That is, I think, a little bit more sensible. We're gonna go 2 on the 4.5 belts. Do need a little bit more deck armor though uh, than on the light cruiser. So we are once again overweight. But this thing can pen itself at around 12,500 meters. Actually, no, it's got armor quality 170%. I've set mine to 150. Set it to 170 and um, see what it says. No, 10,000 meters. That's where it can pen itself. That is acceptable. Very acceptable levels of armor. We're actually gonna drop down the armor on the turrets. Just a little uh, bit. Just a tiny little bit. We 
do need um, citadel armor though. And the ship is over white. If I actually actually go with diesel. Uh, 16,784. What about, um, did he change the weight of turbo electric? Yeah, turbo electric is cheaper than the, uh, lighter than diesel. 930 million, 765 with geared turbines, 1.5 with diesel. Yeah, he nerfed diesels quite hard. Mm. Not that much over overweight. Only about 200 tons. We can go down and barbette protection. Only 50 tons overweight now. That is very salvageable. Oh, and I have not reduced the diameter of the Bofors. 41 tons overweight. Where to reduce armor now? down to auxiliary 2. It does save me some weight, but it uh, reduces the range further. Mm -mm -mm. Secondary shells. Increased HE. Saved some tons. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. got electrical two turrets. There we go, electro hydro one. That saved some weight. Are we happy with this? 0.4% four weight offset, not gonna fiddle with it. That is very much within what I consider acceptable. So there we go. We have the three new American hulls built. Next up is uh, Austria-Hungary. And this is one of the new hulls available for Austria-Hungary. The Advanced Compact Cruiser. It is a light cruiser. Uh, let's see what they write about it. Austria-Hungarian Advanced Compact Cruiser, which is a very close recreation of the HNLMS De Reuter, which was a Dutch cruiser which is made on a tight budget, is speculatively offered as an alternative hull for Austria-Hungary, producing cruisers which could fit their ship arsenal if the nation had survived World War I. It can be found in light cruiser hulls from 1925 and has a displacement between 6,900 and 8,900 tons. Let's go... 8,000? Max optimal speed, 30.5 knots. We're gonna go 32, I think. Let's see, main towers. This is the best one available, which doesn't fit. The second best doesn't fit. Third best fits. Although, I could increase the beam. What's the difference in tower spotting here? 400 meters. We're just gonna go with the third best. A 
has the best secondary tower fit. It does. How about the small flat tower? Oh, that is nice and compact. And we got protected crane funnel. Which is very wide. The best one fits. The uh, third best one does not fit. Second best one fits. It has a funnel capacity of 40. We also have these, which look smaller, but they are wider. So again, they don't fit. I would have to widen the hull. Let's do that. Let's widen the hull by 1% and 2%. Just see where things start to fit. Okay, let's uh, let's go up to five percent and see, you know, how much. Uh, if at five percent the best tower still doesn't fit, the second best tower still doesn't fit. The best funnel fits. Third best funnel does not fit. Let's just go with 1%. And go with two crane funnels. I know I probably don't need more than one once the fuel has been selected, but I do like having some redundancy. On my funnels. So you're either stuck with funnels that are uh, very long like this, take up a lot of deck space, or ones that are too wide to fit, unless you widen the beam. Gonna go oil one. And well, turbo electric is should not be that bad now. In dip, two hundred and eleven million, one hundred and fifty-seven million. So turbo electric. As for main guns, what do we have available? Oh, you can. Uh, you can put 6-inch guns up here, not 7. Actually fits one here also. And the fantail, we can save that for torpedoes. Actually no, that's uh, what we're doing here. We're gonna go with the 7s. Gonna find a barbette that is suitable. Maybe this. Can I go with the smaller barbette? Short barbette. Are you too short? Are you too stunted? Oh, you're just good enough. Will the 7 inch gun fit back here? Yes, it will. So we're going to have nine seven inch guns as our main uh, armament. Can I fit these single two inch guns in a number of different places? I kind of can, but just not really. How about some three inch guns? Uh, they're using like main gun models for the three inch guns. So I'm just gonna go with the uh, two-inch guns as secondaries. This ship will not have that great of a secondary armament. Actually, let's go back to experimenting with the funnels. 
The phone difference in phone capacity is not that great. Like that. Takes up so much less space. And they even have uh, little mountings for guns here. So what can we put here in the middle? I'm thinking some of these barbets here. I can put some kind of secondary armament on those. Uh, not those, they don't fit. How about some small main guns? If I, instead of using those barbettes, go with... Do you fit here? Go with that. Okay, if I put it the other way around. Do you then fit? You just almost fit. There's some weird collision uh, things going on here. If I just go with that, put a two inch gun there, one here, one here. And just this tiny one here, just to fill in. There we go. It doesn't look so empty now. All those two-inch guns are going to lead to a lot of crew losses. Uh, but that's okay. Now, torpedoes. I'm going to have some of those on the fantail. Alright. Let's build the rest of the ship. Oh, this is a turboelectric light cruiser carrying a pretty decent torpedo armament. It's not super fast though. Crop 3. Barbet 3, flashfire channels. Not too terrible, it's going to be better once we choose uh, propellants. Let's go Citadel 3. It's not the best, but it works. Max HE secondary shells, yeah, we only got 2 inch guns, so... That makes sense. They can't pen much, but... TT2 flashfire channels is now good. Semi auto reloading. Torpedo size. We can go all the way up to 24 inch torpedoes. That's a lot of inches. That's what she said. Some parts are badly placed. If we go 20 inch. That works. Standard torpedoes. 11.3 kilometer torpedo range. I think that's better for the kind of ship that it is. 
if we go fast torpedoes it's only 6.2 kilometer range it's not really gonna get close enough to hit anything at that range just gonna go standard oxygen not being available yet standard torpedo are um, ammunition no anti-submarine needed because there's there are no such things as submarines yeah I'm kind of liking it it's a very very sleek looking light cruiser I'm liking that a lot yeah, it did look better with the other funnels but Actually, I was just going to go back to the other funnels because it's kind of just pointless having a bunch of uh, single 2-inch guns. Sorry for wasting your time. Third best. No, the second best was the one that fits. Yeah. Now, armor. We don't have a lot of uh, weight left to play with, sadly. 7 inches of turret armor, 5 inches of barbette armor. How are we gonna recuperate this weight? Yeah, I've only got like 100 tons to play with here. Five inches is a main belt, and it's just not enough. That's gonna put a lot of deck armor on this. I think one inch is gonna be enough for a light cruiser. Five inches of main belt might also be enough. Point three. Uh, okay, yeah, that's the inner belt need some belt armor because it's a light cruiser it's just gonna be dead if it gets uh, main belt pen 32 caliber the water ain't that cold you need to be uh, a little bit longer than that my boy Yeah, I know I'm kind of destroying the reload time here, but... Let's see, 15% longer, 37 caliber, 18 second reload. Uh, where to save weight? Do we have to abandon the, uh, the turbo electric and go with geared turbines? Perhaps. Yeah, we're getting close now. Range is not amazing, but it's an Austro Hungarian ship. It doesn't need to go that far. Hmm. Remove those secondaries. Oh, we don't even have armor on the conning tower yet. Let's put five inches on you. There we go. If we go six, that's enough on the turret sides. Yeah, it still can't pen its own turrets, and that's with pretty heavy guns for a light cruiser. Yeah. Let's say this ship is done. Move on to the next. Which is, uh, let me see. 
Austro-Hungarian Advanced Armored Cruiser, 1926. Displacement between 12,000 and 19,000 tons. It's a speculative hull of a wide and robust construction that can be something between a small battleship and a cruiser. It can be found in the heavy cruiser hulls from 1926. Right. Advanced armored cruiser, was that it? Yeah. Yeah, the hull can go up to uh, 19,000, but not in 1926. Maybe in 1927? I know I set out to build this in the year it was introduced, but... I want to see this at kind of like its maximum... Um, expression. Do we have to go all the way to 1930? There we go. Yeah, now we can max it out. 19,000 tons. That's a fat boat. It's very short and fat. In fact, uh, <laughs> I'm going to slim it down by 3%. Just because I thought it was kind of ugly. 27 knots. Let's go 28. Main tower. Now we're building this four years after it was introduced, so we can go, I think. Let's just see what we have available. That's a medium tower, too. We also have this kind of setup. A compact advanced tower. So that's like with an built-in barbette. That looks kind of good. The difference in tower spotting is not huge. 7,900, 8,100, so only 200 meters. I think we're going to build on this. Although there are other stats as well. So, 27 base accuracy, 44 long range accuracy. Yeah, this one is definitely better for long range accuracy, but I kind of just like the look of that. With a little uh, built in barbette. As for funnels, we got these boys again. But this time the hull is plenty wide. Protected combat funnel. So we can go with the protected combat funnels. I want to go two funnels again. And this time we're going to go with 11 inch guns, by the way. If the uh, developers call this a pocket battleship, basically, that is what we're going to build. What a chonker of a hull. Mark 4, 11. Mark 4, 10. Yeah, we're going to go 11. Oh, is that new turret models for Austria-Hungary? You don't fit anywhere. Okay, let's go with a different uh, secondary tower then. Tiny one. Are you sure you don't fit there? Yeah, that tower was just very long. Okay. 
You're not yellow, you are yellow. So I also want to fit a turret up here. Okay, yeah, we're going with the small tower then. Moving everything backwards. Unless there are other options for um, barbettes. I think this is not going to look right. That's a very huge turret. Yeah, it doesn't even fit there. That's the biggest 11 inch turret I've seen uh, so far in this game. Because before, Austria Hungary had the same 11 inch turrets as you would see on. You know, the Graf Spee and uh, Scharnhorst. Alright, let's build the rest of the ship. Let's go Krupp 4. Let's make this as tanky as we can. Yeah. Oh, Monroe changed it. Now, Turtleback does not give better assistance than All or Nothing. Which is kind of sad. I kind of liked that when All or Nothing or Turtleback wasn't just a simple matter of 5 being better than 4, but it was an actual choice to make. Because while uh, Turtleback gave you better resistance, and I think armor strength as well, All or Nothing gave you much better like engine damage chance and ammo detonation chance reduced uh, reductions. So, like it, it was a it, w it was a real choice. You could either make your entire ship tougher or make the the critical components of your ship harder to damage we're gonna go turtle back though let's see standard ratio capitalistic capitalistic Two powder one and TNT two, we get flash fire down to point nine. That's not bad. Uh, we're getting close to the uh, the weight limit here. Bring radar one. So the AI won't be able to build this with radar one in 1926 when it's introduced, but for a uh, 1930 campaign. It should be buildable. Let's see. Turret armor. That's very, very, uh, very tough. What's the max belt armor we can put on this? You can actually go 17 inches of main belt on what is, uh, at least on paper, a heavy cruiser. That is whack, as they say. Let's go 12 on the main belt. Let's go 13, 12 on the turrets. 4 on the turret tops. Yeah, I won't be able to pin that. And we need to find somewhere to save weight. We're gonna go 1.5 on the fore and aft decks. Two on the superstructure, thirteen on the conning tower. These are forty eight caliber. Let's make them fifty. 
So we are a tad overweight. Just a smidge. 27 knots. That reduces us down a little bit. If we go minus... Now if I make the, uh, the beam reduction less, make the ship fatter again, that's going to up my uh, displacement limit. But it's also going to make my ship heavier. Because the engines have to push more... Uh, more water. Yeah, 101%. It's 101%, no matter what I do. So it's around 200 tons I need to uh, to shave off. I can do that by reducing the uh, torpedo protection. No problem. And then we can go back down to minus 3 on the beam. We haven't done secondaries, though. Also, we have a bit of a four-way to offset issue. Let's go anti-torp three. All or nothing gives plus twenty percent armor hit damage. Turtleback plus ten percent. Oh, there are no mines in the game, though, so that really doesn't matter. Like, are there no? Well, Citadel is actually a bit heavier. Uh, all or nothing is a bit heavier. It really doesn't make a difference. Eighteen, eleven, five. No, Turtleback is heavier. Plus 12 hull weight, plus 2.5 armor weight, plus 15 hull weight, plus 12 armor weight. Why is it heavier? What am I missing here? Hmm. Something just uh, didn't add up. Plus 2.5% armor weight, all types. Plus 12% armor weight, deck, deck extended, okay. So Citadel, uh, all or nothing scheme makes your deck armor heavier. But I don't really have a lot of deck armor. So if, uh, if you're building late game battleships with lots of deck armor, I think Citadel uh, 5, all or nothing, is going to add a lot of weight. Maybe. Let's take a look at secondary weapons. We can fit some 5-inch uh, turrets here. Now you're complaining. After I place the turret. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. Let's uh, do a mix of single and. Uh, Double barrel turrets. Like so. Can I place some barbettes on the side here? On this hull? Just 
waving the barbette around, see if it's actually uh, possible to... no? No. So a bit of a four-weight offset. It's not possible to put a barbette between here, I don't think. Oh, we get bofers. They fit, but they look like they shouldn't fit. I'm just gonna play some more of these. And then some double two inch guns. They don't really fit in a lot of places. Oh well. I guess that's it for the Austro-Hungarian ship. Yeah, I guess that's it. 35 caliber, that is nothing. It's gonna make me overweight, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So makes that not fit. Let's go down to zero. Some guns have poor sector of fire. Why are you lying to me? All guns are perfect. Exactly the way they should be. Lintz, SD. See, I just renamed the ship and the error went away. Now. There's one more hull for Austro-Hungaria. No, there are two more hulls. Advanced small battleship and modernized Dreadnought 1. Uh, well, I think we're gonna have to build those next video. Tomorrow there's gonna be Shipyard Champions. So, on Tuesday. Probably, hopefully, unless I forget or don't have the time. We're gonna see another ship design video where we design uh, the two remaining Austro-Hungarian ships and some of the new Italian ships. Now, Italian share design is not really going to be relevant for my own Italian campaign, but I'm going to share these share designs in the um, Discord channel of Brother Munro so he can put it in in the in the ship design folder pack so others can download them so that's why I'm gonna do the Italian ships as well and also I'm just curious to see what they look like I'm liking many of the new hulls this one maybe not aesthetically pleasing it's very fat it is very chunky But I guess, I guess it works. Goodbye, and take care.